Hi, this is TH Culhane for Solar Cities, and tonight we're looking at a Google SketchUp model of a biogas digester based on the RT India model that we've been building in Cairo and in Germany. And these are very simple biogas digesters. The food simply goes in this PVC pipe that extends down to the bottom of the tank and goes in about halfway to the center of the tank's bottom. That distributes the food for all the bacteria inside. In this tank, there's a slurry of water. When you put water in, the excess water comes out as biogas fertilizer out this tube and the gas is collected from the top from a small half inch tube that goes out of the top of the digester and then is piped to the cooking stove or to the electric generator. It's that simple. That's all there is to it. Just basically a couple parts. When we go inside the new design, we have put a table on the inside so that we can have the cold-loving cryophilic or psychrophilic bacteria breeding here at the bottom on this substrate and the mesophilic or warm temperature bacteria found in animal guts breeding here at the top tray. And the gas can escape through the center and that way we can have two different populations of bacteria. When the bacteria make the gas, it simply fills this bucket that rises as the methane is produced and falls as the methane is used. It rises as the methane is produced and falls as the methane is used. This is the cycle that we go through. It's like a cylinder um, in a motor and it's just pressured by the methane produced by the bacteria themselves. And it's the simplest kind of biogas digester you can build because it's basically just one plastic barrel inserted into another plastic barrel. So you have a plastic barrel, the green one on the bottom, which contains the water and the slurry of animal dung and food waste. And then you've got this other plastic barrel that's upside down that goes in on top. And at the top, or what was the bottom of the other plastic barrel, is a small tube where the gas comes out. That's all there is to it. It's not rocket science. It can be built out of basically two buckets of any size. This particular size, which is about a thousand liters, is good for two hours of cooking gas a day. Uh, but that's it. It's just a plastic tank in a plastic tank and then there's a weight on top. We use bricks, but you can use any kind of weight at all. 